Hey everybody, welcome back. Getting ready to do another video on the mini excavator today. Here's what we're gonna do. I've got the quick attach for this and I figured I'd make a video in case anybody else wants to know how to put these on. Pretty simple, you take these two bolts out, take your bucket off and then you got, let me get stuff out of the way, just put the hour meter in. But we got this and we're gonna put this in. I'm gonna buy an attachment for this later. I'm getting ready to go get a log grapple for this. So we can use it in the wood yard. This bucket works, but it's real finicky about getting the logs and versus the round grapple. It'll work so much better and they're not that high. So I'm gonna pick one up. And I'm probably get stuff later, other attachments. So I figure I'll make a video with this. So let's get this out and I'll show you how to put one of these in. Or at least guess at it anyway. We'll take a good guess because it's the first time I've done it. It's pretty self-explanatory though, I think. First, get you a crescent or whatever you need to get these two pins out. I just happen to find a standard one that fits metric here. Mine, we're using an inch and three eighths here. So seems to work. Let me see. Yeah, make sure, make sure you can see what I'm doing here. In my case, it's got some nylons on. I know someone's going to say, use a socket. I don't think I have one this big. There's only two of them, so not a big deal. Let's get in the of real quick. This bucket shouldn't be too heavy, so I figure I'd get it level. And then just kind of pull it off here. Or at least I hope I can do that. That's the plan. I could be wrong, but I think that'll be fine. Cause like I said, not a real big bucket. It shouldn't be too heavy. Put everything there so I don't lose it. Let's see if it'll wiggle out. Yeah, probably not. That's why we have this. Oh yeah, just like butter. So, coming right out, no problem. Okay, there's one. The other one, probably a little tougher. It'll have a little more weight on it. Let's see if I can get some of it off. Whoo, thought I lost that. And they well off. Then, back in the bucket. Hopefully you can still see me. If not, all right. I said it's kind of move around here a little bit. So like I said, put your bolts back in, just kind of put your nuts on. You're gonna need them in a minute. Luckily that goes back down. or nothing they got two doubles on it so i will get these off and get this out and just you know slide your pins out and i'll come back when i get this tore down and we'll turn the camera on and redo everything so see you in a bit all right we're back so just take your bolt out knock your pins out opposite side of the greaser just take you a punch knock it out no big deal and what you want there's two pieces here if i can get in the camera the one that moves, you want it the back of the machine on the back side of the bucket. The one that's fixed, you want it facing towards the machine. So very simple. Get a pin, we'll go ahead and get these in. Didn't be too bad. Not at all. And line it up and you're good. 
The only other thing will be getting the hole to line up, which is there. There's one. Let's go ahead and get the bolt in for now. Oh, come on. Okay, there's one. And we'll get the other one in. Simple, simple. Just kind of wiggle it till it fits. Oh yeah. One of these was real tight and the other one was pretty loose, so. Turn. Okay, I was tapping. Tap, 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 tap. Should be about there. Alright, I need, need to fish that a little bit. So, I need, I need what I need. The hole on this is not wanting to quite jive. So, should be about it. Just kind of tap it. Just like that. Very simple. Give it a little tap down. Just kind of, kind of stubborn. Hold on. Cannot see, it's very close. Oh yeah. Well, hold on folks. Hardest part's getting it to line up in there. Ooh. There, this will go now. Oh, you picky dude. All right. Anyways, I'll fight this and I'll be back, but it'll drop in. I might have to, looks like the hole might be a hair off. I might have to drill this one, so see you in a second. Okay, we're back. FYI, just learned something. These holes are not universal and the pins ain't universal. They have to go in the same hole that they come out of. I swapped the two pins, the bolts fell right in, so. I just kind of highball them, I'm sure, instead of machining them. And like I said, just pay attention when you take it off, which hole they come out of. I swapped the two pins back and then the bolts fell right in like they're supposed to, so. No big deal. So anyways, now that we got that sorted out, turn off that light. And we will set this bucket on. And away we go. Like so. And then, and voila. Ta-da! Awesome. So that'll work just gravy. Now I have a quick attach. So pretty simple to put in. Well, I said I'm gonna get a few attachments later when I bought this. I went ahead and picked this up. That way I can just take my impact and put that on there. That was a, I don't know if they're different, that was a 21 millimeter. Well, like I said, when you take them off, just pay attention. Keep your pins to the hole they come out of. Once I did that, they fell right in. So I guess that is that. Then my guy's gonna tell you something else, but I can't remember. I'll probably think of it after the video. But anyways, very nice, done, simple, not too bad. But uh, oh yeah, like I said, make sure the fixed one that doesn't move goes to the front of the machine, you know, facing that way. And the one that slides, put it at the back. Because I'm pretty sure that's how that goes. If not, you can correct me. But the way all the other machines I've been around and American machines and stuff, they're made to where the fixed one picks it up. Even with your hydraulic ones, the, the, pit, the fixed one is for you to sit in a seat and pick it up and kind of put it on an angle. And then you can, you know, the back one will slide down. So seems to work. Seems right. That's kind of what I went off of is all the other designs. So there it is. So very simple. So stay tuned. You'll see more of this on the channel. I'm going to make a video about why I went with this one versus all the others and kind of explain what I like and don't like about it so far. And, you know, we can keep videos coming. Let me know what you think, what you want to see. 
on a whatever upcoming of this so anyway stay tuned for more mini x videos so hope you like this hopefully this will help you get yours on so if you like the video give it a thumbs up it does help subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell and you'll get notified of all the upcoming mini x videos when they come out so i guess that's it so as always like and subscribe catch you on the next video bye